Okay, and I will vlog time again. This is big week P vlog. I want to make this one quick so I can work on other things and not go and get a whole lot to gay in general. Anyway, so today's episode is Hard to Gay Anything, written by Becky Wangberg, I believe. A new writer. So, yeah, here we go. So, the story goes to the simple. Becky, the key market gator, find out that a Big Mac has a crush on Sugar Bell, that one baker from Starlight Old Village. Once they find that out, they want to, you know, fake that uh, person or the commander, and she clearly like him back like, a little bit, so he got they decided to help him woo her. Because last time we tried to make Big Mac up, it going to not go well. Is that when we when they decide, okay, we're going to help Big Mac get no love potion? Go we're very cool. Where about that? Um, so, storyline was one of pretty cliche, it's like, you got the episode of trying to, Becky, he had to compete against the, like, the jock, to, to, he's like this dude, who thinks he's hot shit, and he got like, the hair, and trying to, you know the type, he's trying to like, hey baby, like that type, he, he's like a, randomly just appeared out of nowhere, that way, never anywhere in the village of 40, to he's here now. And like he had to compete with him for her affection. Go in a kind of cliche plot when they're trying to do that. But the core kind of turned out they both get over her head and she doesn't want either of them. But then the bat turned around and you know, be like, hey, I don't have to do all the fairy tale type stuff like your gamer were trying to do. And you know, it's that kind of episode. You see every bit of it coming. So it's really up to the execution to really make it good. And it is. The main thing we kept going to that is like about story more about the humor because there's a lot of jokes we do in terms of how they try to get have him move her and how they come with Killy Vinny Q and Gina do and they pull it off. It was pretty funny actually. Like the story ain't thing really but not bad. I do but the humor really carrying it. A lot of I don't know, but like when they're love the no love potion been great. They got good stuff, like, when they know that Big Mac is kind of weird and, and making long trips to the village, they make the rejection get to win, and they bit off of them pretty meticulous. I like that. Um, and there's got a small joke, like, um, I, I can't remember, I got better put on the sky, and that one was by pirate. Pirate. <laughs> pirate on a mission. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. It's got a little joke, you know, stuff like that, stuff like that. I mean, uh, so, I mean the biggest laugh was no love potion, <laughs> but I'm like, I, but right at the camp, we hope you like come out for not cold last time, <laughs> then he immediately came down, like, oh, okay. So, and, um, and then got go, a call sequence, um, a battle for Trigger Bell, according to the credits, where they come on bouncing him and, um, Fever Brain, I believe his name is, Fever something. Um, Big Mac and Biggie Country Town, he did boy band style. <laughs> and they don't know Lumberjack, Lumberjack, I'm sorry. Um, but, they were very careful all the time, but they're pretty good the way they capture both styles. It kind of reminds me of Boy Trying to Capture that for Oak Creek style, my favorite of Spectacle. And, um, I the name was Man's Draft in that one. To copy that. They have a two style kind of clash in a pretty funny way. Especially if it meant to start like, forgetting the word. You could improvise in this. And I like that. But, um, you know, um, and they are speaking stuff. Um, as far as, again, the big go, they could even bob back go. I feel like people like the most of those who are definitely just gonna get kicked kick out of humor, they might forgive us to mingle Shay or they might just kind of not care of. They just care about that. humor and it is humor based out of code definitely and you know by how it's a lot it was pretty entertaining to watch. Big Mac get probably one of the biggest speaker rules so far, probably kept better with social, probably bigger than that, because he had to be in the sky for a while of it. Here he can go. And he didn't talk huge it's not like he talked for maybe give speeches at the time. But he does gain quite a bit when trying to woo Sugar Bell and do other things. Um one thing I didn't affect the I will get I guess I can well, they actually do something slightly interesting with the uh, Fever dude. Um, because a lot of the, he appeared like out of nowhere from Doug No Interruption. He's like, hey, I can get now. 
and he basically didn't have much personality I'm kind of being a douchey drought dude and after Kong he would he seemingly vanished um like as she can do you both but then he appears again and they do come in kind of interesting with him but I, but I thought it was kind of a cool way to give a little not dimensional but to give a little purpose to being here and yeah um but more of a gap of what you would expect you know it's like you know creating Mark Gator like it's like a great <laughs> joke with um um we bell okay pull out the book of fairy tale and get about younger I was like younger and like well younger younger we have to tell him a long ride <laughs> like the deck like wow there's a lot of footage like that in the cup of code and okay, I appreciate again again whenever I have an episode with that sound just unexpected like again I did I bet too fair, too story being from crochet, they couldn't make it that curious. You know, especially with those 12 paper. But yeah, they, they uh, I do find where they came out or don't believe where they don't go. The point, especially after they grew up, but it's not quite an. The uh, restaurant is still okay. I think a couple of my was I'm not sure, and especially if they were, um. Um. Wait. Death Yemsen was the way it was. We're selling the one, yeah, because I don't know why I had my next list. Uh, I'll come out of next week. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but okay, now I do make more of a good one, and I think it's can, can, can very helpful and nice, so I don't mind it. Time to get started. I'm doing a vlog! I can't! <sighs> Give me a cut. Anyway, let's wrap the up because there's not much more else, okay? Anyway, I would. Anyway, yeah, I like this one. Yes, story is going to cliche, but it's copping enough, and there's a good moral in there. It kind of came up quite off, but there was meaning. And most of it's based humor, which is really successful, I think. Not like the funny stuff, because funny stuff, because they're one word story. It got called streamlined enough, so that. You know, cause I think some people who don't care about story will just not care about generally, even though they might be humor. But the humor is good enough to be in the heart. Well, not huge to the not the heart even huge or anything, but it's cute. It's a pretty entertaining and cute episode with a really fun small sequence as well. It's not like quality member for a sequence and the joke of it rather than just being great song, but it's still put the all the song king in, so I get uh all the best song looking. Seven in a song guy I I hate that I forgot about. Oh, don't figure up any other songs unfortunately. So, but still a really cool song. Song about, so, overall, hard to say anything, it's good. Yeah, cliche and area, but it got, got a lot of good jokes coming from the community and Big Mac, and it got a fun song sequence, and a nice moral, so, it's not too special in terms of a plot, but the joke kind of make it up for that. You might want to come back to it like one more time because there's good jokes. Not like all the time, because, but it's really, you know, even what my pop star from the left joke, a certain bit there and there entertaining. Go, and again, fine, I feel like for me, I think it kind of worked well enough because it had a nice moral and it was cute. It was only a few moral from like, like when that guy first appeared, I'm like, oh god, they're doing this. Well, he go, there in a few other moments. But again, the ending to a I see fine, I'm kind of interesting. Go overall. I like it. I imagine a couple people will be split between the kind of funny, cute, and you know, the cliche and cringy. Like, I understand that. But I enjoyed it just for what it was. Again, because the humor was strong and, again, good moral for kids, I think. Good, you know, yeah, so I think Heart Who's Day got better go, but that's just me. Go a story a little bit more in check on that one, I think. And, yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> No, 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 Oh, and the drop dude, he voiced my Flash Country. <laughs> that make it even better. They did that on purpose. Even better, Shrikabell voiced my Kunkka Shimmer. Confess <laughs> you go. 
I, 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 when I got it, in fucking tongue, it named in the credit card, I went, oh, pff, of course. And I think that make it look better. Yeah, yeah, it's good for me. Okay, yeah, uh, that sounds pretty cool. On its Apple, though, that should be fun. They have stopped them. Um, no, on the episode that Aaron on June 17th will be the mid season finale episode, but I'll discuss more about that when we get there. I'll go very already out of Canada, and then Aaron can get the mid season finale, but Aaron and Aaron get from Canada for a while. Go, no more leaks for a little bit, yay. Get good, no more enough people you follow doing the Duke episode that you haven't seen yet, and most people hopefully have not seen yet. So, yeah. But if they want to get the review out early, so we can do our work, I understand that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, that's the all I believe. The kind of thing I'll appeal in will be first special vlog on Billy Dilly Subterrane and Summer Water for Pilot. I believe that premiere on June 3rd. And I believe that's next Saturday, along with it. What? What? Ah, uh, yeah, I can't look it up right now. Um, so I get called. You'll see that vlog when it comes up. It'll be between that and Kennedy, at least. So I shall see you then later.